Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my studio. Welcome to my channel. And uh, today I am filming happy mail videos. And as you can see behind me, there's some boxes. I have to put away all this stuff, but I've been waiting to do uh, a video, like trying to do one video of a lot of the happy mail that I got at one time. So if you're interested, I will post a uh, I cards up in the corner there to links of other happy mail videos that I that I shot today <laughs> but they will be uh, they will be posted uh, separately for sure so today what I'm sharing with you is my Amazon haul amazon.ca to be precise uh, these are all items that I purchased myself with my own money um, on amazon.ca and of course I used Ebates from Ebates.ca as well at the same time so I can get a money back discount and I am also a prime member on Amazon so I do get free shipping for all the prime purchases that I make so that is a bonus thing that I have I will attempt to include links to the products I purchased on Amazon um, in the description below. I will also try to make a blog post with uh, this information. And just to let you know that if you are interested in buying the same supplies that I buy, I will provide those links for you. And if you happen to click on those links and make a small purchase, make any purchase, I should say, uh, I will receive a small commission. So thank you for, and that is how you, if you do that, that's one of the ways you help support this channel. So uh, thank you very much for doing so. So now let's get to my Amazon haul. I warn you, this is definitely not one of my dollar store hauls. This is uh, more expensive. Some of these items are quite expensive. They are high end, They're t they tend to be higher end uh, fine art supplies. Not everything is, but uh, yeah, I really decided it was time to treat myself on some things that I really love to work with and uh, just for me, not for my work, just for me. And uh, that's what I got. So that's what I'm going to show you now. So the first item is probably the one I received the most recently, so I'm kind of working backwards here, is this pencil case holder okay I got this lovely pencil case holder and yes for my cat loving viewers out there it is a cat print it is covered in kitties it is a nice charcoal gray base it is this really nice um, I don't know if it's a vinyl but it's it's like it's very washable I'd like to say I'd like to say it is water resistant and uh, yeah and it's very sturdy it's it's firm on the outside it's not too heavy uh, it has a handle here and this nice zipper and this that I say oh and there's a pocket here too and did I say this can hold 202 202 colored pencils. So this pencil case can hold 202 colored pencils or 136 gel pens. Because gel pens are a little thicker, I think that's why it holds less gel pens. So let me show you what it looks like on the inside. So this is a substantial case meant to hold some of my more uh, delicate art supplies. So it comes with these panels inside these like you flip these panels like that whoops whoop something fell out these panels and there's elastics here and you can slip your pencils in those elastics so you could probably squeeze a couple a couple of pencils into each loop here oh, up there that's better so and then this will keep my nice expensive art pencils nice and safe and I will be protected by my band of kitties 
Uh, this came, the, I bought this on Amazon. It was a prime product and it was sold by Ike Office Supplies. And included inside this pencil case is the cutest little keychain. It's the cutest little monkey. Ooh. And he's got a nice big heart. And he was inside the pencil case, so I guess uh, I can attach him to the zipper pull here so he can help me open my bag all the time. So I got this cute little monkey. So this was $39.99. That's exactly what I paid. I paid $39.99 for this pencil case. I did price a lot of cases and I wanted one that was gonna hold a lot of stuff. And that was cute. So this is why I chose this one um, because it, it was meeting all my criteria and it was really cute. So this was just under $40 Canadian. So the next item I have to tell you is something I was so, so, so pleased, excited to receive when I got it. And I can't believe that I actually splurged to get this. Uh, but after much deliberation, a lot of deliberation, a lot, a lot of comparison shopping, a lot of, oh my God, figuring out if it was cheaper for me to order it from the U.S. and pay the exchange rate and the duties. And as I did so many calculations on this that I finally, um, well, one day I got an alert from Amazon saying, oh, that thing you've been looking for, we have it for you at this price are you interested and i kept looking at the number and i was like is that for real like and i i went back to my notes went back to my calculations and i was like i can't pass this up i have got to get this so what it is it is the entire set of the faber castell polychromo colored pencils now you have to know like if you see, if you watch my uh, haul from Omer de Sartre, you will know how much I love these pencils. Normally, if I buy these one pencil at a time from an art supply store such as Omer de Sartre, I have to pay about $3 a piece for each pencil. So if, let's do some quick math here. So think about it, $3 per pencil for 120 pencils that would be $360 Canadian. Okay. I don't see this set often at even, even at 300 some dollars. I've seen it priced very high. I've seen it higher. I've seen this, I've seen kits of 120 Faber-Castell pencils up to $600, uh, but they did come in a wooden box, mind you. But in these, this tin case, it's very hard to find the entire set at the same price that I got this one. And what did I pay for this? I paid a total, okay, this, this tin was a total of $220 Canadian. Yeah, $220 Canadian plus uh, $10 of shipping and handling because it was not a prime product it was a third-party seller and I risked it I was like I wasn't sure if this was going to be worth it but uh, it did and the seller is B B M art store and that is on Amazon and I have to tell you it was so well packaged it was well protected it arrived and each pencil is in good condition these are the ones that are made in Germany. They are not fakes. Uh, I've checked them out already. I still have to make my own color swatch. There is color swatches. There is the chart at the back of all the colors that are included in here. Uh, th this is like a dream come true for me. I just, I love these coloring pencils. And I was just super, super, super happy to get them. So this is what it looks like inside. And they come, there's trays that lift up. There's these little, oh, we're going to have to get up so you can see better. So it comes in this tin, and there are trays with these little rubber bands to lift each tray up. The trays are not, well, they're a little cheap, but that's what you get. And there's two other layers there. So this is my special, special gift to me from me. So 
I told you this is a very high-end art supply, so Faber-Castell is a German company. And I love these colored pencils. I love working with these colored pencils I have ever since I was a child, and they are my favorite. I find them to be the creamiest coloring pencils. They are an oil-based colored pencil, and uh, I, that's probably why I like them the most. So uh, that's what I got on Amazon. And it got here within a couple days. It, I didn't have to wait very long for this at all. The next item I have to share with you is some wonderful, wonderful paper, some wonderful uh, surfaces to work on with my materials. And I splurged on getting this uh, watercolor paper block. And this is what it looks like it's a really nice portable size it's an 8 by 10 it is a 20% cotton so it's not 100% cotton but it's it's not just pulp and it is a very heavy weight um, goes without saying that it's acid free and it's it's a 90 pound so it's heavy weight but 90 pounds there, there is much heavier but it's in a block so that means it's glued on all sides except for a little little space here and so it means I don't need to tape down the watercolor sheets for watercolor work watercolor painting and yeah so this was actually a good good price I got this for I paid $18.12 for this pad uh, in the same order in the same order that I placed on Amazon for the watercolor pad I also ordered the Yupo paper. I've been wanting to get some real Yupo paper for a long, long time. And Yupo paper uh, is like quite slick and glossy. And it's a great paper to use with like alcohol inks and stuff. It, it almost feels like a plastic and it's very, very thick. So I got this Yupo uh, medium paper. Yeah, white 10 sheets uh, it is made by Legion and what else can I tell you about it it's a 74 pound 11 by 14 inch uh, paper that we use in art making and this was uh, $28.23 and it was the better value that I found on online and like Remember, people, I, if the prices seem high to you, you're probably in the U.S. Uh, in Canada, we do tend to pay a lot more for our, a lot of art supplies. And just because we are a smaller market and we have to import so much more stuff. So the last item I placed on that order was for this professional graphite transfer paper. And this is this is a new to me uh, company, but they offered really great service. They followed through. They wanted to know my opinion afterwards if I liked it, if there was a problem. They've guaranteed this product basically, so I think it's it's a pretty good. I mean, the 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 company that makes this followed through with an email asking me if everything was okay and if there was any problem at any time, just to tell them and. They would replace the product or whatever so I was like oh that, that's pretty good customer service and so this is gray graphite paper it is 70 sheets this is used to make a transfer of images onto a surface for other artwork basically and this was $16.79 for 70 sheets of really high quality uh, graphite paper that is really it's good value it's very very good value and especially if I bought it from a company that really cares so I got that now I really indulge myself on this one but it's still it's such good value I ordered some travel type of paint brushes they are, and it says in the description here, high-end art travel painting brush. Uh, but it, it says synthetic sable round hair, short handle brush 
for acrylic oil and water color painting five uh yeah three pieces so there's three brushes in here it is imported from asia i'm pretty sure yeah this is made in china so that's why it's more affordable <laughs> And it comes with this really cool little bamboo roll mat. And it's actually lined with felt and it's got pockets. So it's, it's for, uh, for cheap, cheap brushes, it's very nice looking. So these are the brushes that I got. These are travel size paint brushes. Uh, they feel amazingly luxurious. And I got this set with these three paint brushes for, I paid $22.99 Canadian for this. And they are beautiful brushes. Um, you just pull these apart here. So then you can turn it into a long brush. So you can travel with it compact. And then when you get to your destination, you just pull the two pieces apart and insert one into the other. And I have to tell you, I the bristles are very nice. Uh, firm. I got this number four brush. The number, these are round brushes. And a number eight brush. I want to use these with watercolors. And this one is a nice big one is a number 12 so again I'm very pleased with these um, I haven't used them yet in watercolor but I have checked them I have tested them and I'm yeah very very pleased with them for $22.99 now I have I, I have paper I have brushes <laughs> I have colored pencils I'm gonna show you some paint palettes I was looking around for paint palettes uh, to put my own paints in, well, my own paints, to put paints in, and uh, I came across this one. This, I think this one is a really neat one. If I keep looking over like that, it's because I'm looking over on my laptop to see the description of the products. So this one is a Meaden Magic Palette Paint Keeper for artists and students by Meaden. And I think it's in California, is that what it is? Or China, I'm not sure, because I can't, they're, they're, all this is Asian writing. So they say it's a watercolor painting box. And it's in this nice box. And I have to tell you, everything was wrapped diligently with extra bubble wrap. And I appreciate that, uh, Amazon, because uh, these things are not cheap. So here's my little paint palette box. It comes like this. It's really nifty. And it has this hermetically sealed top with these latches. And just lift up like this. Okay. Here's the... Now you can use this as a paint palette and it's it's anti slippy thing here and then you have this to hold all your paints now the bottom part comes off like this and see there's and you can put all your little paints in here and it has a handle for your thumb so you can hold it you can hold it while you're painting like if you're painting outside or on the go and then this little doohickey here serves as another paint palette and you can just snap it into place there so I think this one so there, so you can make this a portable paint palette if you want, or just protect your paints or keep your paints uh, portable in here for, for travel or just for storage. So uh, this Meaden Magic Paint Palette 
Keeper, Paint Keeper, Palette Paint Keeper, uh, that holds It has 24 little wells in here to hold paint. So you can hold 24 different colors, depending on what type of paint you put in here. It says it's for, on the box it says watercolor, uh, but I thought I might use, I might use this for some acrylics actually, but um, whatever, water, acrylics, oil, you could use any type of, you could store any type of paint in here. So this is great when for artists who wanna make their own palettes, with different colors that they have for projects or on the go. On the go projects or in the studio projects. So I got myself that. And the final item I want to share with you that I ordered from Amazon is also, although this says Meaden, yeah, it does say Splendy.cn on here. So I'm not sure if it's Meaden or Splendy.ca. The description says Meaden, but. This is Splendy. So the, the final is another art palette that I ordered. This one is a tin uh, water. This one I, I really got to hold watercolors. And it is a tin palette. And it has, it opens like this. And it comes with 48 of these little half pans that are removable. So they, these are the little pans. And I can fill these with any paint that I want. I can switch them out. I can buy other pans. So this is a great kit to have. The in this part comes out. It's got these little handles. I can't work with just one hand. So so it actually comes out like this. There are magnets on the back, so it can adhere to the inside of the paint palette so this part can come out and all the little wells in here uh, these little they're called half pans because they're half there are full-size pans also um, but I wanted the half pans one for smaller quantities of paint and yeah there's space to add another one And I think this will be a lovely palette to have. And like I'm showing you here, it clips inside. It's held magnetically. See, it won't, it won't really like, fall out. And if you're putting watercolor in here and they're, they're dry, they're definitely not gonna fall out. And it has this piece that covers when you close it and you could also use this part as a palette you also have this area that you could use for mixing paints or as a palette it does have the thumb holder ring underneath so you can hold it and paint and uh, did I say it holds 48 half pans and the price I paid for this was $26.99 and like I said, I did do a lot of comparison shopping online for all these products, and I found this to be the best value. So that is why I purchased the items I've just showed to you from Amazon.ca. And again, I'll try to provide the links for you in the description below and in a blog post if I have time. So that's it for my happy mail from Amazon.ca today. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope that you were slightly entertained by this to see how I spoil myself and what kind of really extravagant art supplies I use. And that is it for today. So take care of yourself and stay crafty. Bye.